Okay, here we have a 1999 Ducati ST4. Just an awesome machine here. It runs, rides, and shifts very smoothly through all the gears. All of the lights are working. It doesn't smoke out of the exhaust or leak any fluids. No trouble like that. It has the upgraded Stay in Tune exhaust system out of Australia. It sounds amazing. We have the open clutch cover there for the dry clutch system. Gel grips on there, very comfortable. A couple of carbon fiber touches here and there on the tank, as well as the tail fender there. It has anodized aluminum caps for all three master cylinders, as well as for the fairing fasteners. A custom covered seat there, which looks fantastic. The black and red matches the wheels quite nicely. An upgraded clutch slave there. Uh, it's a common failure point for Ducati and Aprilia. Recently the bike has been serviced with new spark plugs, oil change, uh, brand new belts, valve clearance check, uh, everything is good there. That has a zero gravity windscreen at the front. Just an awesome machine. Let's go ahead and fire it up and see how it sounds. Ram ball mount there. Uh, certainly a good setup for sport touring. Uh, definitely a fun machine with that 916 uh, Desmo engine. Lovely machine. Okay, so we have a massive wad of parts which are included with the sale. Uh, rather than listing them, it's easiest to go over them in a video. That's how many there are. Uh, so obviously there are the two beautiful uh, matching uh, hard bags for the bike with the fasteners included with the brackets. So these are Ready to put on the bike, all you would need to do is relocate the turn signals to here um, and uh, remove the tail section in order to get those uh, fastener brackets on there. Once the brackets are on, uh, it's as simple as removing them with the key there. Uh, obviously the factory toolkit. Uh, the previous owner had replaced the wiring harness and a bunch of other stuff after getting the cycle. Uh, and, you know, if you can just say that, that's one thing. But to actually be able to prove it with the original parts means a lot. So, huge pile of OEM bags uh, for all of the parts that have been replaced over the years. Uh, sprocket set, a couple of switches. Here's a full clutch in a Barnett clutch box. So the clutch that's in the bike is definitely a Barnett clutch. Here's the original clutch to compare it with, along with the pressure plate and the uh, dry clutch cover. All of those parts are included. Definitely a value there. Uh, replacement clutch cover gasket, filter and some gaskets there, a sensor, uh, the original tail kit, uh, tail tidy. Uh, when, when installing the tail tidy, basically this is what you remove. Uh, ba uh, bearings and stuff for the wheels, the cam, uh, the cam pulleys, uh, the uh, steering head bearings. Uh, these are the um, silencers or inserts for the exhaust. Uh, chain adjusters, uh, starter solenoid had been replaced at one point. Here's a clutch push rod. Um, all of the hoses for everything, the cooling system, fuel, vacuum, all of those hoses had been replaced. Uh, you don't have to take my word for it, here's the original stuff. Uh, the negative ground cables for everything, a replacement stator at one point, uh, all of the belts, a huge stack of belts over the years, and a massive set of keys, uh, several ignition keys, and all of these are bag keys. And then uh, dates and mileage listed for a lot of service work. Each of these is a professional Ducati Corsa shop. Uh, and then there's uh, logs for the mileage interval for the belts and valves, which is always, always on time. Uh, a mammoth, a mammoth collection of stuff included with this bike. If you're going to be purchasing a Ducati over 25,000 miles, make certain it has uh, maintenance records like this and a large pile of parts to prove that the work has been done.